everyone, Erin here from Trails Next Door. And today I'm going to do a video that has been requested a lot on Instagram. We just uh, recently shared a photo that we had taken while we were SUV camping and it piqued a lot of people's interests. And I basically asked in that post if people would be interested in knowing what we packed for that trip. And it was a resounding yes, there was a lot of interest. So I wanted to share a few of the items that we packed um, that really made the difference. So we were SUV camping. Uh, we did it two weekends in a row. One of the trips was minus five approximately, and the other trip was plus five. So we kind of did a 10 degree difference, but either way, we learned a lot in both trips and wanted to share that with you. So I'm gonna share, as I mentioned, a few pieces of gear in the video. I'm obviously surrounded by a lot of gear here in my living room. We'll put a full list of gear that we've used in the comments below or in the description uh, bar below. Take a look, um, it's an Amazon list. You can source a lot of this stuff local as well if you prefer, but just to give you the full range of everything that's inside of all of these bins, take a look at the list. Okay, so a few of the logistical details that you might find helpful. So number one, we SUV camp in a Ford Explorer. Uh, basically the middle row of seats folds down. That creates quite a large space between the front and passenger seat all the way to the back. It's enough space for us to comfortably lie down without having to bend our legs and that kind of thing. And we usually uh, thus far have only camped with two adults. Um, so we haven't fit more people than that in the car. I'm not sure if we could, I'm sure we'll test it out soon. Um, but so far today, it's been two adults in that car. Uh, the other thing that we have found really useful in terms of logistics is that we pack all of our camping stuff into bins like this and they're usually organized um, by bin in terms of what they are. So for example, we have a blankets bin, a cooking bin, a power bin, um, which is just like things like electrical cords and that kind of thing, and a general accessories bin as well. Outside of the big bins, we also have a number of small bins that we use that are really useful, like this one, for example, for carrying toiletries. Um, this bin, um, and I'll, again, I'll link to it in the Amazon link, this fits perfectly in the space behind the driver's seat and um, essentially at the floor of the back seat. Uh, so we can put this on the floor. These can stay inside the cabin, which is really nice. Um, in a few minutes, I'll tell you why that's nice, but uh, one of these has toiletries in it. One has generally dry food. And uh, the reason we keep them in the cabins is so that, you know, it doesn't attract wildlife or anything like that while we're camping. Outside of the bins, because I know I've said that word a lot, we also have a big water cooler like this. Um, this one, usually so far for a an one overnight stay, this amount of water, which is 10 liters, has seemed to be pretty decent for us to do all of our cooking, our washing, and even filling up a couple water bottles. Um, we drink a lot of coffee, so it definitely suffices, again, for a two adult trip. We also have this two man pop-up tent behind me. This is um, a really great purchase. Essentially when you're camping in an SUV, you have a lot of things that you're carrying into the campsite with you, like these bins. We have four of these this size, two small ones. We usually end up with a cooler and we have another bin for dry food. And as a result, there's a lot of excess stuff that has to go somewhere when you set your bed up. And so we found that the pop-up tent, the two man pop-up tent, um, was really great. There's no setup required. Literally, you take this elastic band off and this thing catapults into an actual tent. So we uh, set, that up, set that up at the campsite. And then as we're unpacking and organizing the campsite, all of these bins go inside of there. The nice thing is we don't even have to use the, the stakes or the flyaways because um, these weighed it down enough that it's not going anywhere. There's a lot of weight we put in there. Uh, inside of that tent as well, I um, usually put my pop-up trash can. So this pop-up trash can is amazing. It's pretty big. We can put a um, you know normal kitchen size uh, garbage bag inside of here. Uh, and it's great to just like, again, have on site at campsite. It makes storing garbage really easy. And then when we're done, we obviously just pack it out with us uh, and dispose of it at the um, entrance. 
Outside of that, sleeping. So sleeping is a really big part and logistically, it took us a couple tries to figure this out, but this blow up mattress has been great. Again, I'll link it below. Um, it's got the double nozzle. Uh, we have since started packing on an electric campsite. We've since started packing an electric pump that has made the process of blowing this thing up a lot easier. And this last trip, we added an electric heated mattress pad it made the world of difference. In fact, our entire sleep in this last day was so comfortable and so warm that it honestly felt like I was sleeping at home. Um, it did not feel like I was sleeping in the back of an SUV. So those two things, uh, we also pack sleeping bags. We pack our own pillows. I know that's a little bougie because they do take up space, but nothing makes a difference in your sleep than having a full-size pillow, let me tell you. And finally, this time, if we want to top that with another bougie item, we did pack a feather duvet. Again, when you're packing this stuff in an, in an SUV, you have a little bit more space, especially if you're storing your bins that you're not using inside of a tent like this. The other thing we found really helpful is we also brought some bungee cord and we used the bungee cord to hang a curtain in between the back of the cab and the driver's um, and passenger seats. That gave us a bit of privacy through the uh, windshield because the rest of the windows in our SUV are tinted, but the windshield is not. So just to give a little bit more privacy, we blocked that off. What was nice is I actually think it helped to kind of keep more, some of the heat that's generated from the mattress pad in the cab, um, or not the cab, sorry, but in the back area where we were sleeping. That made a really um, big difference. I also recommend logistically that you get yourself, let me grab it, one of these. So this is a, I think this is 50 or 80 feet. Let's see if it says here. So this is 50, so this is 50 feet. Um, obviously it's just an extension cord, but the nice thing about this one is it has this triple end on it. This makes a really big difference if you're camping at a site with electricity. So we run this in through one of the passenger side windows. What's great is we can plug in our electric blanket. We can also plug in a cell phone charger if we want, or really any other device that's useful. Um, it also acts as a really great on campsite um, extension cord as well, because you can plug in things like a kettle um, and things like that to make it feel a little less like you are having to rely solely on a fire and things like that for, for camping and cooking. The other thing we found really helpful this time too was adding a little bit more interior light into the SUV um, space that we were sleeping, so in the back of the SUV. And so this go around, we got this really nice USB charged copper um, lighting. So it's essentially these little tiny lights on a copper string. The nice thing about this is you can literally wrap this around anything. We, I just kind of strung it around and that lighting that you see in the back of the, um, the back of the truck where, where we set up our bed was all uh, just this copper lighting. So strung it around, we put it on a USB battery pack and it was enough to get us through maybe about three to four hours of having some light in the cabin, which was really nice. All right, so as I mentioned, you can go through the full list of everything we packed in the links below, but I wanna uh, call out a few items that honestly made a world of difference and I would never camp with them or without them ever again. So a couple of those things, we got ourselves headlamps. Um, they are a little bit on the pricey side. I think for us, the Canadian, they were about $75 a piece, um, but they are fantastic. They have multiple settings. It's the Revolt Black Diamond headlamp, uh, again, in the links below, really great. We have one for each of us, so we can kind of just like pop them on and um, you know, they bend down. So this way, if you're working on the campsite, you don't need to worry about holding a flashlight or um, finding another means of light. So game changer. Electric kettle. I know that some of you will probably say that having anything electric like this is taking away from like the real camping experience, but this was a game changer. Um, we pretty much ate and drank most of the things that we ate and drank from this kettle, meaning we had oatmeal, we did some of those um, packaged foods that you can just like pour the hot water into and wait for them to sort of do their business um, and, and heat up. We brought, we brought ramen noodles because that was just nice and easy. Um, and of course, like coffee, tea, anything else that you'd want to do. And it was really useful to heat up water for washing um, any of the dishes. Highly recommend. This one's just a one liter. 
Salton. Um, I think it costs like 20 bucks, not even $17. The next item I'd highly recommend is this one. Now, when I bought this, it kind of felt like I was buying um, something from an infomercial, and I'm sure in a way I did. I got this at Canadian Tire. It's called the Of Glove, but this thing, I tell you, was incredible to be able to do things like, um, you know, clean dishes or grab grab the pots off the stove. I wouldn't recommend sticking this like in the fire or anything like that, but it was just nice to have it um, especially when you're working with some of the camp pots and things like that. Really recommend. Love that. Another item that I really like that's super cute is this little um, lantern, also from Black Diamond. Uh, it is right now, I think it comes with this, um, on a carabiner. And you can just like clip this to anything. It's pretty bright. Um, it's nice to just have like a little extra light source. We clip this in the truck inside. And again, in addition to our little copper lighting, this adds a little bit of extra light, which is really nice. Cannot recommend things like fire starters. So this one is called the Zip and Original Fire Starters. Um, this was incredible to help us get the fire started. I just broke off two small pieces, threw it in, lit them on fire, that combined with our kindling and we were in business related matches or a, light, a lighting source of some kind. Very important. Another thing that was great was these collapsible mugs. So these, um, they fold up into themselves like this. And the nice thing about that is they take up very little spot. This would be great to throw in a backpack as well if you are worried about some space, but we have two of those. We'll make coffee in these. We'll eat our oatmeal out of these. Um, they're just really great. I also found these microfiber towels to be really great. I bought them at, um, Canadian Tire. These are the Frank brand. I mean, there's nothing super special about them other than they were great for drying things, washing, and I brought Ziploc bags um, to be able to throw those in here. If you are concerned about uh, single-use plastics, we try not to use them as much as possible. Um, we do also have wet bags that we use uh, for all of our dishes. You could throw those in there as well, but if you're coming straight from home and you don't have wet bags to be able to put things into or dry bags, um, Ziploc bag will work great. Uh, things like toiletries. So I can't recommend enough um, that you have them, but the, the reason I, I'm showing these is not because of these toothbrush holders. These are not like a new invention or particularly exciting. However, what I will say has helped us a lot is actually creating um, things like toiletries that are in a specific camping bin that you can just grab whenever you need it and you're not having to worry about packing out your own things from home. It also makes the coming home process that much easier because you don't have to put everything away. You literally just keep it in the box that it's in, you know, leave it there till the next time you go camping and that's um, extremely helpful. Citronella candles, even if there's no bugs, these work great. Bucket candles just for having on the picnic table. Uh, we have a really nice tablecloth, which we just put on the picnic table with two candles. Again, sets the mood. Um, highly recommend having some extra flashlights. This is the Eliminator. It's very bright, like very, very bright. Uh, aside from that, um, you know, we have a lot of like we got a Bodum for our coffee, uh, which is which actually was really nice. Uh, it made the coffee experience feel a little bit more um, artisanal versus, you know, making it sort of like instant coffee. Uh, so that was really great. Um, looking at the counter because there's a few things we washed. And our camp pot. Can't stress enough how important that was. We cooked chili in it. We cooked uh, an apple cobbler in the camp pot. And of course, it's just nice to have if you need to boil water um, and don't have something like a kettle. So that's a few of the things we packed. Um, I know it looks like we pack a lot, but I honestly feel like when you are SUV camping and you're not having to backpack things in, you can get away with packing a bit more, especially if you use the extended storage uh, solution like we did. So if there's anything else you're wondering about what we packed, 
Um, definitely check the links below. I try to include every single thing that's inside of these bins for you. Take a look through the list. And I would love to know as well, if you're watching the video um, and you camp a lot, uh, what, what are some things we're missing? Uh, check the link first though, just in case you point out things that are inside of the bins. Um, what are some things that we're missing? And then what are some things that we've said that you feel we could probably leave at home? Because we also want to know those things as well. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time for another video. Bye. Okay, so as I was packing up all of our stuff after doing that video, I realized I forgot two things. I'm, I'm sure I forgot many more, but I at least forgot two that I wanted to surface for you. The first is a hatchet. I went into Canadian Tire and I asked the guy where the axes were. He pointed me in the direction and I bought this one, which I'm so proud of because it's the first time I've bought anything like this. So I feel pretty good that I now own a hatchet. So this is great for like chopping wood into kindling if you need it um, and a whole bunch of other reasons. But like that is probably first and foremost why you'd want one. The second one is a combat axe. Now maybe this is a little less of a priority on your list but Jason told me that I definitely should surface it as something that everyone should have. So go out, get yourself a combat axe. I won't tell you what it's for. I'm sure you can figure it out. It's got some really cool like features like this pry bar thing. I, anyway, just, yeah, that's that. Maybe less of a requirement, but pretty, pretty cool.